Hello there, my name is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, today we are going to be looking at the camera tracker by the Foundry, um, as promised from my previous video. So um, I'm just going to create a new project to start off with. Um, I've never used a camera tracker before, so um, I will be doing this for the first time. Um, I basically roughly know how to use it, so. Um, I'll be trying to take you through what I know about it so far. So, um, first of all, obviously, we're going to import some footage. So, I've got some for stop footage uh, on my desktop somewhere. So, it's a, a basic mounting shot, which is here. And then I'm going to drop that into my comp, like so. Now, before we can start tracking this video, which is basically um, a video footage of a flyby over a mountain like so. What we need to do is we need to make sure that your uh, your uh, settings are set to full, so your uh, render settings are set to full. Don't have it set to half third because Camera Tracker will warn you that um, it needs to be set to full first. Okay, so. Let's um, assume you've installed Camera Tracker and you're all ready to go. You put your licenses in, so on and so on. Um, what you need to do is you need to come up to your effects. Sorry, click on your video, and then go to effects, and then you'll have this tab here, which is called the Foundry. And you come over and you're going to select Camera Tracker 1.0. So um, what that will do is obviously open up your camera tracker settings now down the left hand side obviously we've got a lot of um, settings for camera tracker which obviously I will go through with you on another video but what we're looking at today is the basic function you know what does camera tracker do okay so like the uh, built-in um, 3d tracker within after effects obviously you're going to track your feature first then you're going to solve your camera then you're going to create your scene but obviously this one is set so you can do it in stages by yourself so it's very very straightforward um, and and very t easy to use because obviously there's one two three stages uh, total 3d 2d you don't have to worry about too much um, basically all we're going to just focus on is d3 tabs here so what we're going to do first um, we are going to track this feature so what we do is click on track and what that will do that will play the video um, and track the points the best it can um, over 3D space. So I just have a sip of coffee. I always have a sip of coffee when I'm trying to do my tutorials because it's relaxing. Now, what this will do, this will track forward. Then when it gets to, to the end of your composition, what it will do, it will track backwards. So basically what that means is it will go over any rubbish that is tracked in the first place if that makes sense. So I find this very, very useful within a, a, a camera track at all. I don't know why they didn't put that in the um, the built-in one for After Effects. I do know it, if you go onto uh, Mocha AE, um, it does track backwards in that as well, but I think this is just a little bit different, um, which is very, very cool. So as you can see, obviously I'm recording um, I've got Camtasia running at the moment to record this tutorial and still it is um, tracking very very well um, with that recording as well so it is a lot faster um, at tracking than the 3D camera tracker which is built within After Effects so um, yes it's got a bit of a price tag to it I must admit but um, if you're into 3D animation or 3D graphic design or any form of 3D movie making it is what I was what I would say essential um, an essential plugin to have so we get to this and I, I want to do this in real time um, as well so you can see the whole process taking place now like I said to you it will track backwards um, and then after it's tracked backwards I will show you basically what you need to do next so we'll just wait for that to track backwards As you can see, it's not rocket science on the top part here in red. Um, it tells you how many frames it's tracking. So this seems to be tracking quite nicely by the looks of it. So 
so we'll just wait for the remaining 60 frames to track like I just said I want to try and do this all in real time so um, without pausing it or anything like that so you can see the entire process of the tracking feature only 30 frames left so not a lot to do now and this is you know relatively quick um, considering what it's tracking it's tracking a lot of points here so this is quite an impressive um, bit of tracking okay now the video is tracked so what you want to do um, basically is you're going to select solve camera but what we want to do first we just want to go through and just make sure the tracks have tracked nicely and as you can see that has, that has tracked really really well okay really really well okay and the way we're going to know this is when we select the solve camera now obviously I'm saying it's tracked well I assume it's tracked well so what we do is we hit solve camera and what what that will do is that will solve every single tracked point okay so uh, for some reason it's tracked badly um, which is quite confusing but as you can see here um, anything higher than two uh, two, me two megapixels um, is classed as not too clever and if it's tracked good it will all be in green so I really don't know why um, this has just happened so what I'm going to do right now we're talking okay so that was probably I don't know something could happen there um, to interfere with the track but as you can see everything that's highlighted in green as you can see is tracked to perfection okay so everything you see that's tracked in red is rubbish basically not tracked very well so what you can just do you can just select each of these points red and what you need to do is just delete them um, so you just go over and just delete anything that's in red okay which is a bit time consuming but obviously you're going to get a very very far more detailed and better track if you do it this way so obviously every time you move the video um, it's going to give you some uh, red track so um, this one's over a green so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that one I'm going to select that one now select that one now and what you want to do after this when you've I'll show you so you delete these red track points here obviously you're not going to leave that as it is because obviously you need to move the video to see if there's any more so obviously there's a lot more crap there as you can see so what you can do is you can just drag hold your mouse down and just go over all the red bits hit the delete and it will take the track points out it will take the track points out for you so we're just going to get rid of the remaining track points that are rubbish like so and we're just going to go a bit more few video I thought that might be the sky for some reason it's really difficult to track the sky um, but obviously there's a big one there that I want to get rid of there but I'm not too fast but the more um, red you take out when you resolve the camera you're going to get a better quality track so you really want to try and get rid of as much of the red as you possibly can um, like I say it's a bit time consuming but um, you could do it in like a couple of minutes um, and like I say you know you're gonna get a really you're gonna get a far more superior track than you would do with a built-in 3d camera tracker within After Effects like so so what we're just gonna do is I sort of knew roughly that the sky wouldn't track for some reason the sky has never tracked very well um, this is this I think it's the third vi third uh, piece of video footage I've put with the sky um, that's not tracked very well at all there's a big one here as you can see so we definitely need to get rid of that one because uh, basically what it is the null object won't sit right and there will be some when you when you finally put your image over the top of it or whatever you want to track into the footage if you don't do this then there's going to be wobbles and it's just not going to look right okay so what I'll do is I'll just keep that just get rid of these couple of tracks now 
and I'll just keep that there because obviously for the sake of the tutorial I don't want to go too mental with it but obviously the more green you've got within your track the better because everything that is in green like I've just said um, is a perfect track so we're up we're right at the end of the video so well not really right at the end of the video there's gonna be a lot here um, so but that's that's not too bad now if it's an okay track it will come in either yellow or orange um, that's not a bad little set I can get rid of there um, so if it's it give you a, a perfect track it will give you an okay track and not too bad track if that makes sense and a crap track so obviously the crap track is going to be based out in red um, the ones that are okay are going to be based out in yellow and um, orange and a perfect track like I say is going to be in green so as you can see all this here is tracked perfectly so now what we're going to do is once we've done that we're going to cr create a scene so we're just going to click on this and let it create the scene and what you can see down here now what it's done if I bring this across to open it up a bit sorry if I just bring this over what that's done is created a null object within your project which is here so now what you can do is you can attach anything you want to that null ob object um, and it should track to that point so I'm gonna try it if it goes wrong so I'm just gonna import something I don't know what I'm gonna import because I've got nothing to import um, I don't even think I've got anything in my pictures um, obviously you wanna you wanna import something quite small don't you so I don't think I've got anything um, small to import at all. Um, I'll just try and put this. I don't think it's going to work, but hey ho. So what we're going to do is just going to bring this to the bottom, and then what I'm going to try and do is I am going to parent that with the null object. I think this might actually go wrong here for me. Um, I'm going to make that into a 3D layer actually. So, and then I'm going to drag that and put that on top of there. No, that's not working right. So obviously that footage is not working for some reason. Um, but it's, I didn't think I had anything to sort of give you an example how you would put something over the top. But hopefully, you know, this will give you an idea of how it tracks perfectly. So obviously it's created a null here, um, which is basically what you want, um, which is good. And that null will stick all the way past here because obviously the track points down here weren't too clever um, so obviously you've got your null object there which is good so that's basically it really I'm sorry I never had anything to sort of put over the top I should have got myself a lot better prepared um, for this tutorial but I'm hoping you know this has given you a rough idea how to use basically use this uh, camera tracker by the foundry um, straight away so as you can see we've got our null object I mean who, whoever's obviously bought um, camera tracker uh, by the foundry knows how to place objects on top of a null object otherwise you wouldn't be you wouldn't be buying this I'm thinking um, but um, this may give you some sort of rough idea of how to do the first stages uh, basically of creating a null and creating a 3d um, or should I say tracking points within um, the foundry's camera tracker so um, like I say I do hope this has been helpful um, I do apologize for not getting prepared I should have got prepared I don't know why I've just done that there let's take that back um, I should have got prepared and downloaded some sort of an image so I can show you track it but obviously you guys will know I mean maybe I could just try something here for you guys so if I go to a null object and, um, uh, let's go to camera tr let's go to the foundry effects control let's go here let's go here no let's come back let's go and pick Tom now Alright, so this is going to go wrong on me. Okay, so let's try and create some text. Let's call it Carlo. R-L-O. Bath. 
which is my name and let's make that a 3d layer and bring that down a bit and now um, so we've got a text here so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to parent this with the null object here and then hopefully as you can see when you move it moves with the null object so obviously that's a good example of how you can track as you can see with um, this uh, camera tracker so as you can see it works very very well um, so if I turn off the null object if we play it back in real time as you can see that's tracked pretty pretty well pretty well um, so yeah that's it really um, I thought I wouldn't be able to show you there for a minute I was feeling kind of stupid um, because I never like I said I never really got prepared which I should have done for this tutorial but hey ho shit happens and you just got to get on with it but obviously I found a way to show you the tracking points that they work very very well um, and that's it really so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um, I'm going to do another in-depth tutorial on camera um, the camera tracker by the foundry um, and try and take you more in depth into it um, but obviously I like to teach as I learn as well which is um, something I do so as soon as I learn how to do it I try and pass on the knowledge so I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you again in the next tutorial which will be another tutorial based around this camera tracker tool so if we have another look let's just render it out oh gone the wrong way there as you can see there that is tracked very very nicely as you can see so thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video